If you've been subscribing to the Patient Attraction Podcast for a little bit, you've probably heard me talk about the importance of having videos on your website. Now, back in one of our first episodes in January 2013, I shared how to have video on your dental website and still go broke. And if it's your first time watching the episode, you're going to learn the difference between two types of videos that dentists put on their website. The type of video that could make you or break you. So it's critical you choose wisely. Enjoy. Good evening, Colin Receiver here. I want to show you how you can have video on your dental website and still go broke. Uh, I'm going to show you two examples of video that uh, I've been talking back and forth with a client today, uh, showing them what they need to do to get their phone ringing, um, how to structure their web marketing to actually generate new patients and not only generate new patients, but provide a measurable way for us to prove to them that, hey, we're generating 50 or 100 phone calls a month and, and X dollars in revenue. So I'm going to show you two different examples of video here. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the philosophy uh, behind each of them and why we advocate the type of video that we do, uh, why one is successful and one is not successful. So here we go. Your teeth are held in place by their roots in the jawbone. Tooth decay, disease, or trauma may have caused the loss of several teeth. Immediately after tooth loss, the jawbone will begin to resorb or shrink. Over time, the ridge of the jawbone becomes much thinner, limiting the options and possibilities of tooth replacement. The remaining teeth no longer have the support that the lost teeth if you have lost several teeth, there are various treatment options available. Okay, so a lot of you are going to be familiar with that. It's a video straight out of Implant Vision uh, talking about options and consequences of several missing teeth. Um, now let's hop in and look at another type of video and uh, we'll discuss it a little more in just a moment. My name is Kim Kaufman. I was born in 1969 with a cleft palate and cleft lip. I've had surgeries from about three months of age through 19 years of age. Everything was fine and resolved until about age 38 when I experienced a complete failure of the dental solution that had been given to me. I had sinus infections, I had uh, gum infections, I had tissue infections, um, and I, I think that in large part it was because my mouth really needed to be um, treated differently than it was and you know you can't simply do tissue graft or bone graft when you already have so much infection because the first thing hadn't been resolved and so unfortunately okay let's skip forward just a little bit months to realize that I didn't have the right team of people in place Uh, procedures was a bit grueling but luckily once I found the right team it, it was a breeze after that I, I had just the most amazing care and it really makes all the difference in the world when you trust the prosthodontist and you trust the process that you're going through um, and have the confidence that at the end of all the procedures you're actually going to have sort of a, a solution for your lifetime we did a uh a diagnostic workup and realized that uh, we really needed a team approach here. We needed a prosthodontist, we needed an implant surgeon, we needed our plastic surgeon, and uh, again, the role of the prosthodontist for Kim was kind of coordinating everything and trying to understand what everybody could do, what their capabilities would be, and uh, kind of how to orchestrate it when each of the, the players would have their piece in her rehabilitation. The teeth that I used to have were fine. I actually All right, so as you can see, two starkly different types of video going on between those two websites. One of them is a very clinical, very uh, 
clinically educating video talking about the consequences of missing teeth and treatment options that are available and the how and the tools of what is available out there for consumers. Uh, the other one, a very emotionally charged, um, deep storyline uh, about a, a young woman who had a cleft palate, uh, who went through this uh, uh, very reconstructive surgery in her mouth, very complex case uh, with multiple doctors involved, that is now, as you can see, uh, had a, a great experience um, and is strongly endorsing uh, this dentist. And the, the video is also interlaced with testimony from the dentist talking about um, you know what they were able to do and the, the complexity and the difficulties in the case that finally arrived at the conclusion. So the reason I'm making um, this, this video on video is if the video on your website is talking about the how-to and the clinical of what you do, patients are not going to choose you. Patients already know by and large what options are out there in the market. Um, what they are looking for is the right person to do the work for them. Um, you know, they already know, I'm going to use a, a very basic example here. Um, patient already knows they need a filling. Now, do they want the uh, assistant or the EDA that's um, straight out of dental assisting school with no experience to be doing that filling for them? Or do they want the 30-year veteran who's done 10,000 fillings to be working in their mouth? And that is the same principle that video on your website should follow. Patients have an enormous, enormous resource called the internet these days that they can look up and they can find out what's available out there. They know that there are permanent teeth options. They know there's Invisalign. They know there's cosmetic and restorative and all these different dental options out there. Um, they don't have to go to the dentist to learn about consequences and what options are available. The reason that people that find you are going to choose you is because you are the expert in their eyes. You are that authoritative source and you have testimonies like Kim here um, who is endorsing you, who is your social proof that, you know, Dr. Smith, Dr. Receiver, whatever your name is, he is the kind of guy that will take care of you, that you can trust, that will charge you a fair price. You know, it's not about the money to Dr. Receiver. He uh, genuinely cares about his patients and he was able to you know, help this lady who suffered with a cleft palate for an entire life to be comfortable, chew comfortably, and, and uh, be beautiful. And that is what patients are going to base their decisions on, um, especially as case size increases. So that's all the fast thoughts for today. Keep moving forward and have a great weekend.